More than 300 people took part in the nation's largest student-led climate conference, the Oxford Climate Forum. The conference, held in the Said Business School from 25th to 26th January, focused on the future of climate change. The forum's slogan, Global Warming, What Next?, was fitting for its emphasis on citizen action for the environment. The Churwell was able to talk to the conference organizers and learn what they hope to accomplish through the forum. The Oxford Climate Forum is meant to be a forum for discussion on the climate, but mainly to do with action. How can we act about it? And so we're getting big speakers in from various places, from charities, from organisations, from intergovernmental organisations, businesses, universities, everywhere, to just discuss and uh, say to us, you know, what we can actually do about it, about climate change. I think that really the two, the two uh, big processes underlying it is one is thinking about how to make this relevant, as in not making it, you know, another conference that people are going to come to and yeah, I had a good evening, I believe, but uh, making it, you know, matter in a student's life. So finding a theme that was going to fit in was the first process and that's why we focused on action because we thought there's a lot of climate talk about there's a problem there, and there's another problem there, there's another problem there, but how do we actually solve the problem? How can we print, like, think critically about it? So getting sort of a multi-sector discussion about it was the first idea we had. And then to do it, like, we had to recruit a team of about 50 people working in different, uh, different parts of the centre, each with their knowledge of climate change, with their interests, with their networks. Uh, came in to recruit speakers and, uh, and bring them together for a really good discussion and uh, really thinking critically about how to make the whole event really interactive. The Climate Forum is a great place to be able to learn and engage and hear new ideas and work with fellow activists who want to change the world and help deal with this terribly pressing problem of um, our changing climate and our destabilised biosphere. And there's some great speakers, fantastic audience. It's just a really good venue. The conference was opened by Natalie Bennett, the leader of the Green Party of England and Wales. Throughout the weekend, attendees heard from high-profile speakers from organisations such as the UN and Greenpeace. Speeches and panel discussions centred on topics such as activism, sustainability and development. Some of the attendees spoke to the Churwell about their thoughts on the forum. I thought it was fantastic. It was um, really challenging in a way to uh, sort of listen to people disagree with each other and challenging their, my own stereotypes on climate change. Yeah, I thought it was brilliant, particularly yesterday's talks, which gave a really nice overview perspective from Professor Allen on the science behind the climate change, down to what can be done at the political level with the Green Party, and also about the activism we, as the youth, can achieve through um, the youth coalition on climate change. It's been really interesting. Um, it's been quite interesting as well to see like how much uncertainty there is on everything and how we've got to act on uh, climate change now anyway, like despite that. Uh, that kind of exceeded my expectations. It's really good. Uh, I particularly enjoyed the um, the session about uh, business role in in climate uh, change mitigation. And there was this particular quote that I remember, well, climate change is essentially a business problem. And I think that will resonate with me for quite a while. One of the speakers at the forum, Charles Secret, hoped that the conference had helped people realize the importance of grassroots activism for protecting the environment. I hope people understood, above all else, that individuals have real power. And working together with communities, with like-minded uh, activists, one can use evidence and reason to change markets and to change, above all, governments, so that we genuinely have a sustainable development agenda and that set of priorities where we can tackle the inequalities that divide society, the destructive, rapacious type of economy that serves neither planetary nor human needs, and that addresses environmental issues like climate change and species extinction. It's possible to do. The people who have power are citizens, but we have to act. And, that's, uh, and we have to act together. And we have to be motivated by reason and evidence, because we've got the solutions. The only thing that's missing is the political will. Words to think about, especially as climate change continues to be a pressing 
yet often overlooked issue. This is Sarah Mahmood reporting for Turwell Online.